Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and we have a guest video from All With Sonic from a uh, Friday night round that he, Spideywing, and I played. Uh, he is in high mobility Gelgoog, and uh, he has got what he calls a fat build on it. Um, he's got uh, melee overtuning, he's got the heavy armor part, which uh, gives higher defense in all uh, three. Uh, types for higher level suits. Word 600, so this is level 4 Imo Gelgoog. And uh, also a little bit of extra melee armor, so uh, hopefully I will remember to add the uh, picture he sent of his stats and his build at the end of the video, which is what I intend to do. But, you know, the brain is a brain. Uh, but, yeah. Um, basically, yeah, he is built for, uh, oh yeah, also extra hit points via a couple of uh, hit point parts and also spaced frame level 3. So, uh, but yeah, he, he has got this thing built for survival and it is, uh, and it serves him very well in this round as I recall. Uh, I'm in the Z2 and I'm doing okay-ish, but not okay enough that I decided to save the match for myself, so. This is, uh, this is a 600 ace match and I'm pretty sure uh, Sonic makes ace, so. We will see how that goes. Um, I am probably... At the moment I'm almost but not entirely dead. I just kind of flew past there doing... I don't even know what. But, yeah. Let's see, Got the, caught the heavy sagger from the, uh, that Regelg exploding. And a little bit... Yeah, it, it took that much to finally kill him. Because just... Ah, surround, being surrounded is being surrounded. And, uh, yeah, I just dropped two. And, let's see, I think we're only a little bit behind, and again, in ace matches, that doesn't necessarily mean too much, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, looks like I was the last one out, so probably once I'm ready to respawn, everybody will drop in. I don't think we were communicating too closely in this one. I, I mean, sometimes sometimes we don't, uh, we don't really coordinate uh, when we're playing on Friday nights. We just chat, and it kind of shows, but... Again, a uh, round I remember going relatively well. I hadn't run the Z2 in a while, and it's it's fun. Um, let's see. Yeah, someone said bunch up. It's good advice. And it looks like we have mostly done that thing, so that's good. Uh, not sure what that is. Kind of hard to tell to, when you're just, you know, peeking through the side of a staircase like that, but... Yeah, I think... I'm trying to remember if this is the round where they had a, a couple of people with, like, really heavy beam cannons, like, hiding in the tunnels and waiting to, uh, shoot us, or if that was one of the other rounds we played. Regardless, that was happening, and it was frequently annoying. But, let's see. Missed the downswing? I do that myself. Even even with all my uh, Gelgug practice, occasionally I don't get turned quite enough for that downswing to clip somebody. Let's see, Sonic got the kill there, and yeah, well, again, we're relatively close, and, you know, Ace is not declared yet. As I always do, I will, uh, you know, mention the Ace match rules. At the three minute remaining mark, the highest scoring player on each team will be chosen, and they will be, uh, uh, become the Ace, which gives them a triple score bonus for anything they kill or get an assist on. And whoever kills them also gets a triple point, uh, triple score bonus. So, yeah, that means, you know, the more kills you let the ace take, the better off you are. And the more, less time the ace spends dead, the better off you are. So that is, uh, that's pretty much how that works. And in a minute we'll find out who the ace is. Uh, 8280 to 8678, yeah, that's pretty good. But yeah, High Mobility Gelgoog, they gave it maneuver armor at some point recently, which, uh, they're definitely going to help it, I think, but, and the fact that, yeah, he's, again, he's got it built for, uh, built for defense, so, I tend to do defensive builds myself, but, uh, especially lately, but I just have not done, uh, I have not done enough with the High Mobility Gelgoog. There was a while there where I was so used to the standard Gelgoogs that the, Hymo just threw me because it moved too fast and I was overshooting, uh, like, my uh, closing to melee and things like that. Which, you know, not great, but I can, uh, I should go back to it because there's a lot more variation in speed in the game than when that was giving me a problem. That was years ago, so I probably just need some more practice with it. And, 
You know, a Gelgug with maneuver armor is not the bad news by any stretch of the imagination. So, let's see, that was somebody's stealth grenade. And yeah, Sonic is the ace, the enemy ace is this superior Gundam that is uh, fighting him right now. He just lost his shield, so he's got uh, a speed boost. And, let's see, yeah, there's just all kinds of things to uh, uh, fight right now. I think that's the Echoes, Jagan. That was a good melee. And, let's see, yeah, he's pulling back towards the base, which is, as you can see, where I am. Yeah, I think at that point I told him there was somebody back here, but just the timing did not work out, so... Because, yeah, there was somebody there that was almost dead, and I figured, uh, you know, I better call it out, but he was just, you know, I... I we were not really, uh... Not really good on uh, defense for him at the time, so it was just not uh, not easy for him to pull back and get that. Hopefully be able to do a little bit better of that from here. I think I'm just hanging out and charging my Mega Beam Launcher, waiting for a good opportunity, which... Yeah, I don't think I hit anything with that, but I did shoot, so yay. Um, let's see. Yeah, so... It's really not going to take too much to catch up at 600 uh, for an ace. So, a couple of good kills, and, and we will probably be back in the lead, so... And the other nice thing about the high-mobility Gelgoog is it has everything that uh, uh, both of the standard-type Gelgoogs get. It has both the uh, grenades that the A-type get and the uh, MMP-80 that the uh, early production gets, so... It is, you know, theoretically the best possible Gelgoog, but like I said, just, I need to practice more. Um, that's just true in general, but honestly, I've been trying. I've been kind of prioritizing mental health over uh, over practicing on the game. So I kind of, uh, you know, I I hit around this afternoon, for example, where I was in my uh, early production Gelgoog, where I'm at 450, where I'm usually pretty good, and instead of uh, and I went wound up going zero and five just because team could not coordinate. I kept getting surrounded. Good kill there. And I just, I, that was where I called it for the day. I didn't even get all the tokens, because just, yeah. When you're that frustrated, the just... When you're so frustrated your limbs start to feel heavy, it's time to stop. So, good dodge uh, of the Gabfly's uh, shot there. Unfortunately, yeah, the Gabfly and the other thing are working together pretty well. With the time we have left, and the respawn time for Sonic, probably if we still have a path to victory... Well, the assist doesn't hurt anything, but yeah, our best, like, opportunity to actually win this is going to be to surround the ace and kill them in the next ten seconds. I don't remember if we get that done or not, but let's hope. Looks like it from the amount of damage they're taking. And yes, we pulled it off in the last five seconds, assuming uh, uh, Spidey and number six can both stay alive, which they did. So yeah, it worked. And yeah, uh, like I said at the time, I, I, uh, you're the best is frequently a sarcastic tell. I take, uh, I, uh, you know, choose not to interpret it that way since we managed to pull off a last second win. So yeah, Sonic got 2340 points and assists, 4 and 3, and 92,000 damage. And yeah, fairly survivable build. You know, now that he's been talking to me about this, I, uh, I want to try this uh, myself. Uh, a couple of times, but uh, with various suits that can take the uh, upgrade parts in question. But that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Okay, yeah, the full part list is uh, uh, the heavy armor part, the overtuning melee part, uh, the level 1 and 5 uh, enhanced frame parts for hit points. Uh, the level 1 beam resistance, level three, uh, level 1 and 3 melee resistance, and level 3 spaced frame. So yeah, and that, as you can see, that gives some pretty good defenses and health. And yeah, like I said, I want to give this a try. And you might be able to uh, take it even a little further, because... Uh, I think he's got a, gotten enough, uh, farther enough up on the uh, enhancement value to get a couple of points of range strength, but uh, there's probably a little bit more defense and a couple of enhancement slots uh, left to get in there, so worth a try.